for this project, I started with a 9-inch mold that I had picked up on Amazon. I used paper tape to dab around in it to get any sediment out of the mold. You do not want to rub it. Um, it could ruin the mold. Then I took this Appel mold release spray and sprayed it in the inside. I had pre-mixed some Kraft Crystal Clear Resin with this pretty blue mica powder that I had picked up at Hobby Lobby. I put some in the bottom and then I put the paper towel holder from the Dollar Tree on top of it. I don't know, um, I think with the last one I might have put the paper towel holder down first. I'm not really sure if it makes a difference. Um, you do have to pay attention to when um, planning this project is you have to choose a resin that you can pour one quarter inch deep. So for example, art resin you can only pour one eighth inch deep. You would have to do that in two pours. Like I said, I poured it so that it totally covered the bottom part of the paper towel holder. Next day, when it had totally set, I mixed up some resin. Again, this is the Kraft Resin Crystal Clear that I picked up on Amazon, and I pour some in, poured some in a separate cup, and I poured some uh, glitter in it also, and then I mixed that up and poured that on top. Next, I took these cute snowflakes that I had picked up at Hobby Lobby. All their fall and Christmas stuff is 40% off. And I just randomly placed them um, on top of the wet resin with the glitter. And then I took the rest of my resin and poured it on top. And, you know, that is optional. So, um, and I did use the kitchen torch to get rid of some bubbles. And you have to be very careful when using heat when you're using a mold because you can actually damage the mold and the resin will stick in that area. And I actually had a problem with getting this mold out and if you watch, continue watching, I'll show you how I ended up getting it out of this mold. For the second one, it was the same process, cleaning, spraying, putting the paper towel holder in, mixing the resin with the white mica powder, the glittery mica powder. And again, I didn't put enough uh, mica powder in there to cover it up. You have to make sure that it's opaque. I ended up covering it again with some white chunky glitter and let it set overnight. So here it is the next day, mixed up some resin, put a little red chunky glitter in it, and just spread that on the very top of the set project and then I went ahead and put the little glass pieces of peppermint candy on and the Merry Christmas sign and poured uh, the rest of the resin over top of it and it was done. The next day when they were both set and I went to demold them this uh, first one came right out, but when I went to take the second one out, it did stick in one spot. And remember how I said you have to be really careful when using heat. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and start using just the alcohol spray to get rid of the bubbles and just be real careful, stirring it very slowly so you don't create bubbles to begin with that you have to get rid of. So what I ended up doing was heating up uh, water in the microwave till it was about boiling and then just pouring it into the pan and setting that in there and I left it in for about three minutes and then I took it out and it actually released because it kind of melts the, um, the resin and uh, it, it'll, it just totally released from the side. So you got to get the water really hot. Hey everyone. <laughs> so I made two more. <laughs> Yesterday the video went out for the fall ones. And these are some Christmas, quick Christmas ones I made. And this is with the snowflakes. And I think that is so pretty. And then this one has the little candy on it. And it also has um, the Merry Christmas up there. I don't know how well you can see it. And um, all the embellishments on this one, well, this is the snowflakes, was a little package from Hobby Lobby in the back where they have all the crafts. They have like a separate line of crafts, um, different like miniatures that you can use. And um, I got that from Hobby Lobby. All the fall and Christmas stuff is 40% off. 
And then um, these little candies, which I'm sure you could find up at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, but I did get those on Timu. And then this Merry Christmas sign, it came in a package. I, I could have even got these last year, maybe at the Dollar Tree. I don't really remember, but um, I know I've seen them in different places, but I thought that was cute. But you, I mean, you guys I know are gonna come up with a million ideas. And like I said yesterday, I can't take credit for it. I, got, I have seen um, multiple ones on TikTok uh, just with the colored resin in it, nothing in it. And then I watched a few weeks ago, um, Julie on Pouring Your Heart Out. I subscribe to her channel, makes beautiful coasters. Check her out. Um, had made one with some shells in it, which got me thinking, oh, we could put things in it. And you know, the holidays coming up. And you know, on our Facebook group, Anna had come out with the night lights and, um, I made uh, a video on night lights and then um, everybody started making night lights and all different ideas. They're all so cute. So all I could think of is you guys are going to come up with hundreds of ideas for these little, uh, these little paper towel holders. And uh, like I said yesterday, the Dollar Tree uh, paper towel holder is the uh, most cost effective. The other ones have feet on them, which means you'd have to use more resin. I use 16 to 18 ounces of resin on mine, but you could probably get away with a little bit less. Um, I had not made the bottom layer as opaque as I wanted to, so I ended up having to use maybe a little more resin. I don't know, it was the first time that I had made them. So, um, so anyway, I figured that would be about eight to nine dollars for the resin, and then of course the do the holder, which is a dollar twenty-five, and then whatever embellishments you might put in it. So, um, I mean, if you sell, you know, they would make a great gift. If you sell them, they would be great. I would think they'd be real popular. You could make them for year round or for the holidays. The mold I used. Um, course is the nine inch mold from Amazon. It's called nine inches even though the inside diameter is eight inches. Don't let it fool you. It has a half inch lip on each side so that's why they call it nine inches. I will put a link um, under the description right under my video and I have made um, a ton of other videos using this mold so you may already have the mold and here's a quick look at the videos I did make. So you can view all of these videos and how to make them on my YouTube channel. Just click on videos and scroll through and you can see each of them and how they're made. And they are all made with this nine inch mold. So like I said, you may have already purchased this mold. I don't know. So um, anyway, I, ho I hope you try it and I'd love to see what you guys are making. You know, on the Facebook page, everybody's posting all their artwork. I'm learning a lot. I think everybody's learning a lot. A great place to ask questions. So I hope you'll come join us. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel. If you enjoyed the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks for watching.